Hello, camera nuts. It's Michael Reed, your favorite camera nut, wearing my festive Santa Claus tie for December. Today, we're going to talk about an old box camera. This is a Brownie 2.A, 1916 from Eastman Kodak in Rochester, New York. Pretty much the mecca of camera building in that period of time. Not much you could do with this camera. You pretty much hit the switch and it took a picture. Now, this Brownie did have a couple little controls that you could do for the lens. If you raise this up, it's kind of like an aperture, an f-stop. So you had a smaller one and a larger one. If you raise this lever up, it would do a timed exposure. Let me see if you can see this. So you hit the lens and it stays open, exposing the film till you close it again. You had extremely difficult viewfinders. You had to look through to size up your image this way and this way. That's why in most of these old pictures you see somebody with their head cut off or somebody's way over to one side or the other. It was extremely hard to see. Now, this camera took a really big negative. We're gonna open this up here. This is how you loaded it. You took this out of the inside and that block right there, that black square, if you could see that, that rectangle, was the size of your negative. So when you shot this, you had this huge negative. And what they would do in those days, they would lay the negative on photographic paper, expose it to light, develop it. So the camera was very much the size that your finished image was going to be. Another thing on these old cameras, there's no such thing as a flash. There's no way you can hook a flash up to it. There's no sinking cord, nothing. So you shot it outside, or you shot it inside by a very bright window. That's all you could do. But this stuff revolutionized taking pictures for the generation that would come. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for us on all the social media. If you enjoyed this, please like it. Share it with your friends. I need all the help I can get to spread this news on this thing. Uh, this camera, by the way, was found in a box of Breeze laundry detergent. If you know what that is, you know what I'm talking about. See you later. Take care.